We're talking about, you know, employers being concerned about their maids going out on their off day and perhaps picking up, you know, influences uh, that's not desirable. Would you, what would you say to an employer to kind of reassure and tell them, don't worry, I will be okay? I mean, what, do you tell your employers anything uh, to that sort? First, it's kind of weird, you know, if you didn't trust, how, how you didn't trust the maid, domestic worker, mm -hmm. they're living with you, you know. Uh, for my, uh, for I myself, I keep it, always keep in touch with them. Okay. With your employer. Yeah, with my employer. So Having you tell them where you go. Yeah, I'm talking with them. You know, we have a really good relationship. We're talking with them. Okay, this coming Sunday, what I'm going to do this, this, what I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm meeting my friend, and then after that, what will happen? Do your you know? friends do that, Omaru? Have you met other foreign domestic workers who express that much information as well? Uh, yes. Well, I myself is you know, open to my boss, you know, I really open whatever I'm doing, I'm, you know, but I open But maybe other people there. don't. Well, maybe other people don't, but that's the way how to keep track. Yeah. But why, why is your employer, you know, it's a really, how did you know, you know, that your domestic worker will hang around with the bad people or different kind? If you if you didn't trust them, mm. you know? absolutely. Let's take a call right now. Mr. Ong is standing by on six six nine one zero zero two eight. Mr. Ong, thank you for joining us. Hey, hi. Hi, thank you very much. What do you have to say about this issue, Mr. Ong? Okay, recently I know a friend. Mm -hmm. He is uh, running a Geylang hotel. So surprisingly, he told me that during Sunday, they are maids and they are Bangladeshi workers queuing up just just to book a hotel room for two hours. And 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 it's, it's queuing up, and that is very bad. And and just imagine he told me, so I told, so I asked him, he said that it's not only happening to his home, it's happening to the whole jailer. So imagine if we were to let them go out, and they came back with disease like this, or or whatever it is. So who is going to be responsible? And they pass it on to our children or whatever. Thank you, Mr. Um, for calling through. I understand your point. We're going to go to our next caller standing by, who is Gilda. Gilda is a domestic worker in Singapore. Hi, Gilda. Hi. Hi, Hi. thanks for joining. What do you have to say? What's your comment, Gilda? My comment is that uh, when you're working in a family, there should be trust between the employer and the employee. Oh, my point is, we are all mature people working here in Singapore. And it's a matter that if the employer does not trust her, her domestic worker in going out, then they should, they should set a point or set some certain rules that the, the domestic worker can follow or, or uh, listen to. Make it but easier they, for both sides, okay. Yes. And, and, uh, and my point is that uh, when the domestic worker uh, should be very open or very transparent to her, to her employer so that everything that's happening outside the house or on their table, that the employers also know what they're been doing, their activities. Yes, or the knowledge and the trust is there. Kilda, I completely and understand. Thank you so much. You're echoing a bit of uh, what Myra's points were as well. Thank you for calling to, to, through to 6691-0028. We're going to go to our Twitter feed right now, which is at TPVote. Many of you have been tweeting. Uh, we have one from, your nickname is Why You Ladette. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Uh, and you say, at TPVote, other countries have had mandatory off days. Are Singaporeans just spoilt? That is your point. Thank you very much for all these comments. Lots of discussions happening right now. Uh, there were two things that were really brought up by those phone conversations. Uh, Mr. Ang, let me come to you. Uh, our second caller, Gilda, says there has to be the build-up of trust. If you know what's happening with your, uh, your foreign domestic workers' friends, then it's okay. You can build that trust level. And then the fear that is represented by the story Mr. Ung heard from his friend about certain hotels that rent by the hour and, and, and foreign domestic workers utilizing it on Sundays. That seems to be the first place that many employers' work minds go to as a first step. I wonder whether half of it is urban myth or half of it is truth as well. What do you think? I mean, is that where a lot of people's minds go to and how do we try and balance it out? Yeah, I think these are really the genuine concerns of uh, employers like ourselves. And, and trust needs to be built. It's not implicit. You know, when you, you join a family, it doesn't mean that we can trust you straight away. And that's where uh, I do agree that you've got to start with baby steps, you know, uh, having some defined rules that everybody works around with and gradually when 
when they open up to you and they tell you exactly what they're doing outside and you're comfortable and they bring their friends to you and we always encourage our domestic couple to bring you can bring your your relatives here to meet us now mm. but you can't be saying that today you're meeting your brother next week you're meeting your cousin and somebody else and it, 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 right. it you can't blame us for being suspicious and and getting worried and then who are you really mixing yeah, around giving trust is one thing but going you know across that that you know you 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 uh you you go overboard with that trust, you know, you break that trust, that is what you're concerned with. Yes. So definitely if, if, if trust is being built and if I have a domestic couple like her, I'll be so happy because she's open to me and you know, I'm just telling her that whoever employs is, is really a, a very blessed family. Because having mates who are forthcoming may not be easy yeah. because it may not be part of the culture. Mm. Mr. Al, we've got a question for you from Twitter. Yes. Uh, it's on Twitter right now from uh, Shane, and Shane says, Mr. Ang, you say your maid does not deserve a day off because of her social circles. Should your own employer adjust your leave based on yours? Um, I, I'm not saying that my maid doesn't deserve a day off. I think probably he got it wrong. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is that we need to establish the trust first. Mm. And uh, primarily because we have a young kid at home. And that's where I have to err on a self caution. So do you think that if trust was built up one day and you're saying that yes, absolutely, a day off is something you would like to discuss? Yes. I think, I wonder whether most employees would feel that way as well. Right now we're seeing 78% on the poll.